relationships are great because you never again have to speak to that cold, heartless, unreasonable bitch. Hold on. Wait, did I say relationships? My bad. My mom always told me, you are the company you keep. And since I have no friends, I find that statement pretty accurate. But when I do have an acquaintance, since I'm an unlucky, uh, lonely, romantically hopeless piece of tree bark, it's only natural that they are too. Sorry guys. And from time to time, these people come to me and vent about their romantic problems under the guise that I also know what I'm doing. Which, according to the two previous statements, clearly shows that I don't. But that won't stop me from giving a totally uninformed opinion anyway! Ah! Alright, so one of those unfortunate souls is my friend who will call... Can't Catch a Break. Now, Can't Catch a Break told me she knew this guy who will call... Break. Who she had a minor crush on. He was a good guy who was with her through some rough times. Someone in her eyes a lot of people drop everything for. Except she couldn't. Because she was holding a, a boyfriend who's also good friends with break, so. But that wasn't even the problem. Bear with me here, she was loyal. We did cheating last week, like, come on, keep up. At the time, her boyfriend was a guy named, uh, Guy. Not all of them are gonna be zingers, I'm sorry. And their relationship was solid. Like, it wasn't the best, but they still had really good times. Like, at a point, she genuinely cared and loved for her boyfriend. I'd say at a point for a reason. Because uh, leaving out the major uh, details, they had broke up a couple nights ago on a low-key bad note. But things could have gone a lot uh, worse. Now, here's the question. Can't Catch a Break is still very interested in Break. Like, they could be the one interested. And she has a hunch they're into her, too. So, should she pursue him? <sighs> well, um, first, uh, let's ask the public. I believe you should. I would probably say no. I think you can. Yes. Why? Because why not? Because she's best friends with your girlfriend. All right. She shows up at Christmas dinner, and then what? Oh damn, we're what jumping. Do you, what, what do you months? do? Give it some time, like a couple months. But yes. Yeah. Because she's your dream girl. I mean, who cares what your ex thinks about you? If you only dated for like two or three months, I'd say like a month. If you dated for like a year or more, I'd say like a couple months. That's some plotting though. If the one friend is okay with it, then I feel like there's no big deal. Oh boy. You're broken up. Like, they gotta get over it at some point. That's savage! Golly! I don't think you should mess up something that could be lifetime. What about your ex's feelings? Do you care? Um, not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, these two are dating. That might be like a little awkward. Was that awkward? Yeah. Alright. Okay, so here's my take. I wouldn't say this was necessarily... Kurt, you cannot be serious right now. Darren, it's not your cue yet. I haven't even finished what I was saying. Oh, so you weren't going to say you wouldn't go for it? <sighs> okay, we're doing this. It's their friend, Darren. It's disrespectful to any iota of love you had before. Okay, and? And? So you're gonna have to deal with your annoying ass ex and their shared annoying friends and their annoying ass judgments. And what if the shoe was on the other foot, huh? And, and one of your friends wanted to date your ex who you still cared about, you know what I'm saying? If it was me, well, hmm. All right, maybe I would say it was cool, but uh, probably deep down hope both of them suffer a slow death. So you're telling me that you'd be willing to risk losing a chance to be with someone who is potentially the one just because it may possibly make your ex and friends uncomfortable? Yes, the ex and the friend are in the same friend circle. Like, how is that not getting in anybody's heads? Oh, you poor, poor boy. Look, where were you and your ex before y'all were a thing? Um, friends? And wouldn't you want to see your friends happy? You can't be serious. Sure, things may have ended a little rocky between us, but we're adults, okay? We should be mature enough to be like, we didn't work out and I feel bad about that, but I will feel even worse if I was the main reason you couldn't move on with someone that you're more compatible with despite who they may be. Okay, firstly, don't ever do that on my show again. And secondly, that would be incredibly awkward. Like no one in that friend group would be okay with that. Really, even if they weren't, you're not dating them, so it shouldn't matter if they agree with it or not. If you believe dating that special someone will make you happy and they feel the same way, then that should be enough. Alright, you know what? Let's have a poll, okay? Vote in the top right. Would you go for it or not? You know you're never coming back on this channel now, right? Haha, <laughs> don't be like that. It is 119. I got the video done oh my gosh i'm so sorry about all the delays i'm currently juggling a bunch of responsibilities right now but 
I'm YouTube's still a number one for me, and I'll keep working on it. Hey yo, I'm just filming an outro. Do you live here? Yes, I do live here. Oh boy. Say say hi, everybody. Or not. Um, I've been working on projects that I think I'm literally not legally allowed to talk about, which is pretty cool. I might be flying somewhere to work on that project, but it's hush hush. Also, finally, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Kurt Ritchie, and make sure to hit the yeah. hit that notification bell. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm out. <laughs>